Hello again. This is just a quick follow-up video to cover the last part of the presentation that I had intended to do last night. As I was conscious of the time that my presentation was taking, I omitted this section. Now, I've mentioned what the Barnet Jade alerts are and how to set them up, but I haven't actually shown you what one looks like once you receive one. So I had intended to show you guys this last night just to give you an idea of what nerf I'm talking about. So that's actually what this video is. And also just to point out what this Jade Express is and I found it quite handy and I thought that I'd just bring it to your attention in case you haven't noticed that it exists. So since subscribing to Jade Barnet uh, roughly two weeks ago I've received a couple of alerts so far. If you remember, I was more interested in the High Court of Australia cases and the Supreme Court of Australia cases. So as a result, uh, these were the alerts I received. Now, for the combination of the two, I've requested updates every four days. And to test out the daily alerts, um, as someone else was having trouble with them, I also requested um, alerts for the 7am and 7pm uh, just for the Supreme Court. Now I have received more frequent updates as a result of that but as you can see from the times they're not coming in around then and I think that is just due to the fact that they would check updates on their system at 7am and 7pm and then they would sequentially send out emails um, to all the subscribers so you know your mileage may vary you know you might be first in the queue so you'll get it almost straight away or you could get it later in the piece but you will still at least get updates a lot quicker um, well as you can see i received one at 920 and another one i received at so at 920 and i received a second one at 827 so they come through a bit quicker. Now, what does the alert look like? So, I received this one um, on the 2nd of December. It was for the High Court of Australia or the Supreme Court of Queensland. I didn't have any particular keywords or particular areas of legislation that I was interested in, so this is all cases uh, that have completed. So it says that I have five alerts matching my, my search criteria and it says I can read the complete case summary um, with a link to the original case by clicking on the citation. So for the Supreme Court, there's one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like in this period of time, uh, this four day snapshot, it was only Supreme Court cases. As you can see straight away I have the citation, uh, the date that the, um, this particular case probably concluded, uh, the judge or justice who was involved, and I've got the catchwords so I've got all the keywords to start giving you an idea of what this case was actually about. Now before I click on one of those, I also just want to point out there's this link to Jade Express. Now I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, but before I do that I'll actually just try one of these um, these cases. So I've just clicked on that first, first case and it's just loading up. So all that's done now is it's taking me straight to Jade Barnett and this is the same sort of view I'd get if I was searching for a case and I clicked on it in the search results. So I've got all of the case information and I've got the usual case trace stuff on the side here with the citations and what other cases it cites and what legislation it um, relates to. And as you can see, because this is such a recent case, there's no other cases that are citing it yet. I did notice with the case that was regarding the vicious lawlessness, this is 
establishment at uh, that that one, even though it had been out for maybe one to two weeks, um, it had already been cited in another case. So uh, Jade Barnett is very up to date in some cases, or some instances, I should say. So that's what it looks like if you click on a case straight out of this listing here. If you instead click on the Jade Express link, it actually takes you to a completely different page. Now, this was actually intended for use primarily with uh, you know, iPads and tablets, etc., more for mobile users. But I found it quite handy as it does actually show you all the cases again on one screen. And if you just want quick access to the case and you're not interested about all the citation stuff, Let's say I'll have a look at this. Uh, yeah, let's try this Mobin case. I'll just click on that one. And I've got that case straight away. I don't have all of my lovely uh, citation stuff on the side, but I do have instant access to that case. And it looks like some sort of table of contents on the side here so I can navigate through the case and through whatever headings that they've actually put in this decision and then I can just go back maybe yeah took two clicks but I could go back and for anyone who uses Evernote which is essentially just a, a note taker program that lets you store lots of information and then easily search it you can tick off any of these cases that you want to sort of save for later and obviously place with Evernote. I've not tried that, but it's obviously there. There's obviously enough people who um, use Jade Barnett and use Evernote to warrant in putting that feature in. That is pretty much all I have to say. I hope you found this video of interest and see you next time.